Hey guys, welcome back to Stormworks. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pimp out your boat um, and add all the stuff that you would see on a workshop boat and on a real life boat. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so we're here with our starter speed boat. This one has the four engines in it and I've just took off the all the bits and pieces that are on top of here and I'll be showing you how to um, add that so uh, we can come under here and we see our engines but at some point we're gonna have to you know see what's wrong with an engine or see what's going on with an engine so uh, but right now there's no way to uh, get down there so we'll come back here and we'll just add a hatch in so you can search up hatch and we've just got a hatch and this one um, is just a 3 by 3 and it will just slide open there's obviously bigger hatches uh, there's this one which has a docking system so it has magnets on it which will allow it to dock to another one but I'm not sure if you um, get any of these hatches than when you start off the game but we'll have to see so we'll just put down a toggle button that's two sided um, down in the boat uh, you can't have any open gaps or anything otherwise water will flood in and it will sink and so we'll just call this hatch and these can be anywhere and we'll just simply wire that up to the open close but if you were doing um, something with say um, two regular toggle buttons right here and what you would actually have to do is wire the first one to the hatch same as this and then wire that to um, the other one so when this turns on uh, it will turn on this one as well and then same thing just wire that one on so when this one turns on it will turn on this one which will open the hatch um, so you can uh, do this from like through a doorway or something um, and that will work just fine ok so again blocking up any holes and we'll just battery this up and see if it works before we do we're going to need a way to get out and so a ladder uh, we'll put that right here. Now we can jump out of this, it's only two blocks, but if you're making one that's higher, we need a ladder. Right, so we can press this button. As you can see, we are not sinking because we left no holes open. But when the hatch opens, it's fine because of the water level. Um, so just be cautious of that. You can see our button is on the bottom as well, it's two sided. And we can crawl in. And there's our engine, um, which is cool. And then compress the button again. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't use ladders in really tight spaces. Uh, <laughs> did not expect that. Okay. Moving on. Uh, at the back here. At some point you're going to need to winch uh, a boat or something in one of your missions. And so we'll just come back here and we'll use electric cable. There's bigger winches but electric cables are small and you get it at the start of the game. So we'll just use that. And we'll make a uh, spot for our buttons here. But we're going to need a connector on that because it's not just going to grab onto whatever it sees straight away. So a small connector straight on there will work. And in our logic, we have a winch down and a winch up, two on off um, nodes. We also have an on off node for the magnet toggle and a output for the connected. So this will output an on if it's connected and this will uh, turn on if that's an on. <laughs> okay. 
So we use push buttons, two push buttons for the um, up down system. Uh, so we'll have to hold it. And this one can be in, and this one can be out. And we'll just simply wire those up to the respective ones. In is cabled up, out is cabled down. And then we'll get uh, another toggle button right here. And this will be for the um, turning on the connector right there. So that's cool. And then we'll need an indicator light um, just for that. So when it's connected, turn on the indicator light. So if it's deep in the water and it's connected to something, we know whether it's connected or not. So, uh, but there is a few things we need to do. This will work, um, but obviously we need to power it up. So let's do it quick. Uh, if you're in basic mode, you don't really need this, but advanced mode, powering up. Always remember to do that. Okay, so right now it's looking a bit bare. We don't really know what button does which. Um, so we'll just come in additive. If you had your regular brush, it would just paint the blocks, and it um, it wouldn't paint the light. You want the light to be painted. So additive in your paint selection mode. And we'll do green for up and red for down. And green again for our light. And then orange for toggle. Um, and these winches start off quite slow. Um, they don't really change really fast. So we'll put that to max. And that will fall down really fast. And which is what we'll don't be waiting. So spawn that in and check to see if it works. So we got out which is red, in which is green. That's gonna toggle it. Um, and that's coming in orange, so that's good. Then we'll do out and we've just got to push it. There we go. And as you can see it's going down and then up and it goes up pretty simple and this can obviously be evaluated uh, and changed and stuff you can have massive winches um, for lifting up vehicles and stuff like in the crane uh, up there that has a winch on it uh, so yeah see our hatch and uh, it's going to be the rear of the boat now if we have in passengers on our uh, boat we're going to need seats and so the more seats the better really um, depends on the size of your boat um, but this obviously will take eight people and uh, that's good for multiple missions on the go at once uh, which is what we like and just for now I showed you how to do this in the engine tool just got your seat uh, we'll just put that, that down for the looks and then obviously you can just start building up, you know, say you wanted like a little rain canopy or something over your... Anyway, uh, so yeah, you got a little canopy, it doesn't really look good, I was kind of rushed, um, but yeah, it's more like a tractor. Um, Obviously we have down here, this is our fuel, so we have a gauge here, that's got to be a zero, and that's got to be a 100. And these are just wired straight to our fuel tanks, and this is a fluid connector, which will pipe to our fuel tanks. Um, so, if you're in limited fuel mode, we can come over here. And this is a fluid connector. And we'll do pump to hose. And our hose will come out. This is a large winch, by the way. Um, so if you have one of these unlocked, um, they are quite powerful and strong. Which is cool. I remember the update when these were like really heavy. And they are quite still heavy. 
see if they come out, come out here. Grab that light up. This is always quite hard. There we go. Up here. And then. Boom. So. Right now we'll just fuel it. We're full anyway. Um, but. If you didn't have any fuel. And uh, this will be fueling up right now. Which is cool. We like that. There are some uh, other blocks, like solar cells. So these are just like regular blocks, but they have a special face on them. And this can be used to charge batteries when it, they're out in the sun. So all you have to do is just wire them up. I'm not gonna do all of them. But then that will go straight to your battery. And so when you're out in the sun, just sitting there, your battery will be charging slowly, which is cool. We also have some decorative stuff, such as tires. Uh, we'll get some small ones. And you can, you know, imagine you're a tugboat. If you're building a tugboat, just put these wheels on the side. And that looks pretty sweet. We also have some railings. So up the front, you can put on some railings. Uh, just remember that these icons are so deceptive because uh, take these middles for example uh, the icon for the regular straight middle is uh, diagonal but the diagonal version of that middle is straight so you're opening up you're thinking like, oh yeah I want to go into my component inventory and grab a uh, middle and you pick out this one and you go oh no it's diagonal but it looks straight in the thing and yeah so just just remember that uh, you, I get confused sometimes with that same thing here narrow angled angled window and small angled window that right there looks like what this one is this is wide and angled but it's actually that. So. <laughs> gets me every time. Like, so just remember. They're opposites. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Now our boat is looking. Snazzy. And uh, yeah. That's going to be just about it. For this video. Um, you take what you want from this. You know. Add stuff to your boat, whatnot, um, and that'll be just about it. So, thanks for watching. If you want more uh, silly tutorial like this, or just regular tutorials, uh, go ahead, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, 